Well, well, hello. We've come to Manchester, the, the Conservative Party conference here. Uh, we're going to be talking to JP Fleury, who is a Belgian Eurosceptic, so that's quite a rare animal. We're going to be talking to him about his new book, What the Immigrants Saw, which is published by Brett Wilder Books. Uh, it's got a forward by Douglas Carswell MP. Um, JP, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, can you tell me, what do you think of middle of the road politics? Well, as Margaret Thatcher used to say, when you stand in the middle of the road, you get hit by traffic from both directions. Um, so I'm not a very firm believer in middle of the road politics. I'm a conviction politician. That politician has very strong beliefs. Um, those tend to be controversial. Um, usually you greatly inspire some people. They have great zeal. And then others will be quite against you. And um, that is the, the normal consequence of having strong convictions and expressing those in politics. Okay, thank you. Um, you're a British citizen now, um, but do you really feel British? There, there is an anecdote in the book whereby during the European elections campaign I stood as a European uh, parliamentary candidate and a small a three minutes film was being made about me, a promotional film, and at some point they asked me to um, to show how, how I lived at, at home, um, just to show that I was a normal during, uh, human being, not just a rampant, you know, a right-wing Eurosceptic. And they asked me to make tea. I didn't know how to do this. I never drink tea. <laughs> so it was explained to me by the producer how to make tea. Um, do I feel British? Um, I guess so. I've lived here now for 19 years and so I'm now quite defensive of Britain and when um, people, non-Brits ask me questions about Britain, I'm quite defensive and, and proud to be part of this island. Um, so yes, more and more so. Okay, and excellent. less and less Belgian, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and would you say that we're now living in challenging political times? We're living in extremely challenging um, times because we have to make the choice. We have, um, we are, we are at a crossroads and we have to, to choose. Um, do we want a vibrant economy where most people are in work, are able to climb the ladder, uh, see a future for their children? Or are we going to choose for a, s a slow growth economy, a continental style for the years to come, whereby we become essentially a museum for uh, Chinese tourists? And we have to make that choice. Um, I'm not sure which, which side will win. Uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm not very optimistic. I hope we will convince the majority to, to choose for high growth and no taxes and so on, and wealth creation, um, rather than to become a museum. But uh, there is a long way to go. OK, now, um, this isn't something that's in your book, but it is something that's very topical, big subject of discussion here at the Conservative Party conference. Uh, it looks as if Greece is about to default on its debts and is causing turmoil within the Euro and the Eurozone. Um, what do you think is the future for the Euro? The Euro was always a political project and not, and not an economic project, sadly. Um, it was a project to, to enable um, um, the European super state uh, to become real. It was just one step on, on that road towards the United States of Europe. Uh, I'm a Eurosceptic, I'm very much opposed uh, to that project. But the Euro was just one step in that. Um, therefore, all those uh, politicians who are in favor of the United States of Europe will do whatever it takes to save the Euro no matter what the cost is to their residents, to the taxpayers, to the people who live in those countries. That is the sad reality. Um, I'm very glad and thrilled and delighted that we're not part of that. Um, but I think um, they will try to save the Euro, whatever the cost is, and that is really quite terrible. It will be terrible for uh, the people of Europe. Uh, and finally, um, they say you've got 30 seconds. Why should someone buy your book? It is different. It's, um, it's uh, very light, it's um, full of funny anecdotes, but there is a very clear political message uh, throughout it. It's not heavy going ideology, but it's through a number of small little things which happen, anecdotes, things I, people I encountered. I, there is a sort of, and, then, and then I follow the subplot, which is this ideological stream, basically indicating um, if you leave people free, uh, that leads to greater happiness, to greater wealth creation, to a more prosperous society. 
Um, and that goes to the fore through all these small anecdotes. Okay, well thank you very much JP for coming to talk to us. Uh, that was JP Fleury, the Belgian Eurosceptic, uh, who's here to talk about his new book, What the Immigrants Saw, published by Brett Welder Books. Thank you for joining us.